Hello everyone, welcome to Cause Streams TV. I'm Cause, and I just want to say a quick thank you for spending some time checking out my videos. If you like what you see, hit that like and subscribe button as it goes a long way in letting me know what you want to see more of. Now, let's jump into the video. Hello everyone, oh man, what a week we have had, first of all. First of all, I want to wish you all a happy holidays, a Merry Christmas, whatever it is you celebrate, stay safe, have a fantastic time with your family, your friends, whatever you do to celebrate, celebrate it and celebrate well. It has been a hell of a year and it has been a hell of a week, but let's get right into it. First of all, let me start off by saying this has been one hell of a week. First, let's just kind of run through what last week was. It was a fortified, entangling, and bolstering week. Why Blizzard puts two ad apex on a single week will always be a mystery to me, but that is what we had to deal with, and regardless of the affixes, I decided to go really hard on the monk. And first I want to show you guys something. It is after the reset, and currently the monk is still sitting in the top 20. We finally did it. We broke the top 20. We are 20th, but we did it, and hopefully we can push a little harder. We pushed some significant keys. So the goal last week was to really push into the 23s or higher. Now, some keys were a lot easier than others, but overall it was challenging anyway, mainly because bolstering really hurt. I was getting farmed by some mobs in Everbloom. I was getting farmed by mobs in Blackrock Hold. There's a lot of things that hurt. We were able to push our IO from 2946 to 3029 this week. I am very happy with that. Last night I was running with a Holy Pally and a Havoc Demon Hunter, and we were able to push a 25 Black Rook Hold. Video will be in the description below. Right after the 25, we did a 24 Galacron's Fall, also will be in the description below. I then managed to do a 23 Way Crest. I had to do about four of these. For some reason, groups decided it was a good idea when you go down the stairs to the, la to the third boss that they would pull that whole room. Even if I tried to avoid it, even if I went around the edge, pulled the first four and kept them in that corner and then kind of kited towards the stairs whenever they dropped candles. Nope. Someone had to pull the other three ads and then it would just become a mess. So there's about four keys I ran that failed at the same spot. And then I did a fifth key and finally timed the 23. Very happy with that. I didn't go into Dark Heart Thicket. I did try a 22 and a 23. They weren't successful and I just I hopped into something else. I managed to do a 22 Everbloom. This is the key that actually got me my 3 KAO. I was 29.98 before running it. I was 3,001 after, so that got me my 3K. Uh, I didn't touch a Tal Desire this week either. I had a 24 to start. We ran in there, we tried it, and got farmed by the Honor Guards, and we decided to just kind of call it quits right there. I ran a 22 Thorn of the Tides successfully, and then I did a 21 Rise. I was hoping to push it a little higher. I actually wanted to do both Rise and Thicket at a 22 or 23. I just ran out of time in the week. It was a very busy week. Lots of characters, lots of fun. But overall, 3029. Very happy with that. Um, so let's go run in and take a look at what we get in our vault. Just a quick look at our gear and potential upgrades. We did get our feet from Heroic Raid. These are our best secondary stats. So we kept them, we upgraded them. We also got our best in slot stats from Mythic Gnarl Root, Crit Verse, and that is fully upgraded. This week, we didn't get much for upgrades. However, I did use my two-handed weapon because Dungeon Cleave, it seems much higher than my two one-handers. Going into Tyrannical, I'm going to change it up. I need the single target damage, so I'm going to run my one-handers. Other than that, every piece of gear that we could upgrade, we did. I believe all of my tier I upgraded to max because I could do, do that. I upgraded my feet. I upgraded my ring both my trinkets, my weapons. So that is how the monk is looking in regards to gear upgrades. Nothing spectacular. However, it was big enough to move us up from 476 IO up to 482. He is looking fantastic. All right, next up, we're gonna open the monk's vault. We're gonna keep him as brewmaster. And the goal of that is to get the Galacron's Fall Scales Trinket, which is a cheat death trinket. I've been trying to farm it at 18. I cannot get that trinket for the life of me. So. Let's open his vault and let's see what he gets. He's got three Mythic Plus vault slots at 483, one Mythic Raid slot, and two Heroic slots. Let's see what we get. Oh, 
Okay, we have Haste Mastery Mythic Track Boots, which we won't take, although they have a lot of mastery. We have Heroic Crit Verse Gloves, but we're already using Tier. We have a Crit Verse Belt, but we already have the Crafted Belt. We have Mythic Track Shoulders, Crit Haste, and Speed. We have a Two-Handed Weapon with Time Strike. Time Struck apparently is an ability that will echo some of the damage we do. The higher the number, the more damage. Unfortunately, it's a haste burst weapon. Haste isn't one of our better stats, but this may be worth simming to take a look at how it compares in Dungeon Cleave over Rashawn. So I'm going to try that here in a second. And then lastly, we have the Talisman, which isn't bad for single target damage. So after running a sim, the Borrowed Time weapon is actually a DPS increase by about 1k on Dungeon Cleave. Looking at sub-creation, it is actually in second behind Rashawn. So what I think I'm going to do is take Borrowed Time and see how it actually plays in some dungeons next week, maybe even this week, since it is really the best option I have, as this trinket only gave about a 100 DPS increase, which isn't really worth taking. And I want to focus on getting the Cheat Death Trinket for high keys, aiming at 24 to 25. So the monk ended up getting a 25 Everbloom to start the week as tyrannical, incorporeal, and spiteful. All right, next up we have the warrior, and I have not worked on his transmog. He needs something new, but this is what you're getting today. Overall, how is he looking? What? How did he do? How did he feel? Let's start off by the couple of gear upgrades that he did receive. First of all, we did turn our shoulders into tier because we got a heroic piece and then we used our mark of mastery for getting 2k io to get our legs we are now officially four piece gamers and then another upgrade we we are looking for this week is the head because it is still a veteran track so it is very low but he is sitting at 467 couple of upgrades four piece gamer it was a lot of fun playing the warrior. I didn't really push hard on him. My focus was heavily into the monk, but we did do a few 18s and a couple 20s. Let's take a look at that right now. So overall, his IO hasn't moved much. He's still about 2255, nothing major. We did a couple, like I said, a couple 18s, a couple 20s. The big thing I want to mention is that he did finally get another portal. We got our Wakecrest Manor portal, so that's kind of exciting. Overall, I mean, last week, warrior felt fine, even with bolstering. Like I said, Ignore Pain handled bolstering very well. I was only doing 18s to 20s, but he felt fine. It was fun. Would I continue playing Warrior? Yes, I would absolutely. Do I think I kind of start struggling at higher keys? For sure. I think once I start pushing past 20 on the Warrior, he may not have the survivability I would like him to, especially in his ability to sustain himself. That is going to be a significant challenge, considering we are so dependent on our healers. Our Ignore Pains, our Shield Blocks will only go so far. So I am going to push on him, see how he feels, but let's go and quickly open his vault. We'll, we'll keep it in prop spec. Speaking of needing a head, he is very fortunate this week. 483 Mythic Track Head Haste Mastery. Just, this is great. I'm very happy with this. Let's grab this. Let's see what the transmog looks like. The warrior starts the week off with a 20 Everbloom, completely doable. I will try to push that. He gets a new headpiece. That's what it looks like. Moving us up from 467 to 469. Next up, we have our Death Knight. Nothing special about him. I'm not going to go into detail. I got a couple pieces from him just running a raid this week. Overall, all I did was raid on him. Let's take a quick look at his vault. We're going to keep it as unholy spec. That's all you ever need for, for Death Knights. Let's see what he got. I did score a Signic brand in raid, which is exciting. So looking at both Blood and Unholy... Ashes of Ember Soul is our second best simming trinket, according to Blood Mallet, and then Coiled Serpent Idol is better for blood. So it's kind of hard to say which one I want. I think I think I also want to roll the dice. Both are valuable. This one's a higher item level. Let's go with this one for Unholy. All right, next up, we're going to take a look at the chamois. I only did a single key on him. I did 118. Uh, so we're just opening his vault and seeing what he got and carrying on. Hey, can't complain. It's an upgraded shield. Mythic Track 480. Great mastery. Let's take it. All right, another quick one we're going to run through is the Evoker. Ran a couple, ran a low key on him just to kind of see how he felt. Let's just open the vault, see what we get. 
quickly, and we'll carry on from there. Was playing Aug. Huge upgrade, 418 to 463. We're taking this back piece. All right, another rat. We did run our paladin through some keys just for fun. Low ones with some new alts. Let's roll and prot and see what we get. We have a hero track bas back piece, haste mastery, and a champion track shield. We're going to take the back piece because it's hero track. We'll, if we continue to play him, we'll upgrade his gear eventually. So a new character that I put some serious time into is my Demon Hunter. Originally, this was a Horde Blood Elf Demon Hunter. I faction changed it to a Night Elf to have Shadow Meld. This character started at 422 last week, and I started pushing low keys and just kept pushing as high as I could. I didn't do very, very high keys. However, I got very lucky with him and scored a lot of gear. Last week, we got our Rage Heart Trinket and our Scales from Ball. This week, we also got our Bandolier from Raid as well, and then a whole bunch of other items. For example, we, we got Double Time from Fall. We went in, <laughs> funny story about this, I brought him into a Heroic Smolderon kill around 434 item level before he got some more upgrade, and there is only one other Demon Hunter in the raid. I ended up winning the roll with a 9 because the other Demon Hunter rolled a 6. On top of that, we learned, we got a neck piece, shoulders, we got a cape, we got chest. We got two weapons, actually. We, both of these came from uh, Fall. We got both of them. We ended up getting a ring from Waycrest Manor, a belt, our legs. He, the Demon Hunter's in great shape. He's a lot of fun to play. Although we were only doing low keys on the Demon Hunter, we were able to really push through them, and like the, the amount of stuns they have... Sigil of Silence, Sigil of Misery, plus Chains if I take it. It It is unreal. Demon Hunter is a lot of fun. I am. I think this is going to be the character that I push up to 3k IO next. Obviously, it is the meta, but it's fun, and I think I want to continue that. Like you can see, so let's take a look at what he got in his vault. Kit. So we have Hips Trinket, Champion Track. We have our Ear shoulders champion trap we have veteran lfr waste which we will not be taking we have a hero track ember of nullification we have a hero track chest which we could catalyze then we have the accelerating sand glass which we could take since it is one of the better trinkets ran on demon hunters but it's only champion track so i'm wondering if i hold off and try to start running 17s to farm the trinket so you can get this out of a dungeon i think our best option here is going to be to take the heroic chess piece and catalyze it for tier all right and that's it for the video thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far hit that like and subscribe button to show me that you enjoyed it and we'll see you next week